Okay, well, this is quite interesting service call that I'm on. I just got here, I was told there's no air conditioning. I already unplugged it because it's running, it's not doing anything. Then I saw this little shiny area. But what I thought was quite interesting was you can actually see the oil bubbling. You're getting bubbles on the oil right there so I mean I don't even have to really leak search and I know where my leak is well, we could throw some brays on there pay no mind to my dirty truck I just, just went away for two weeks so before I left I really did not care but I don't know what kind of pressure I have inside But it is just slowly foaming right from there. Now I gotta call them and see what they wanna do. We have R22 in this machine. It's an old carrier from 1998. Fuses, refrigerant, power, sub, indoor TXV sub cooling, 20 degrees. 10 pounds. It's like a thousand bucks if I need to, re to recharge this whole unit. Let's just see where our standing's at. pressure at least so I couldn't say 410A but I am low yeah you do get the slow foaming right here it's interesting that it was like oils all over this and it was actually bubbling through the oil I'm curious on its operating pressure Missing a lot. Maybe it is. Probably going to be at least four or five pounds of refrigerant needed. make a phone call be back. Okay. So we're gonna start off with pumping down the machine. Get the doors off. This is the perfect nut driver as far as I'm concerned. The little connects too. Which is the mini connects. Interchangeable. Works great. Time delay disconnected. No low pressure switch. Okay. Oh. Let's open this up and do our leak repair. For the nice easy service call. Then I got a leak, condensate leak. To go to after here, find out why the drain's plugged. Let's get ready for pump down. Shut down my inside.
I'm not gonna waste time with this. I have power. I'm curious why the blower is off. When I move this, All of a sudden it went off. So do I have bare wire? And then all of a sudden I did it short. Probably. That probably happened. I'll figure that out next. First, let me get in to this. Probably shorted the transformer by accident. So I heard a click when I moved the wire. Give me something to do while I'm pulling the vacuum. in a bare spot but right here oh it's yeah we'll find it I'm not worried if that is the case okay now because I gotta hold it in let's close
good. Ooh, the oil burning. Cooler valve off. Valve's cooling off. Fire out, we didn't start the fire. just boiling. It's not leaking, it's just boiling. Yeah, it looks really good. I probably should have wet ragged it. I mean, this whole junker really should be a junking unit. It's cool enough that I can put my gauges back on. And I'm not really like crazy bubbles coming out like I have the valve leaking. We'll find out when I pressurize this. Let's move this out of the way. Let's bring this over. It's still loose. Little bubble, if there's anything wrong. You also get hissing. Three oh five, a little almost three oh five. Uh, we got a little bit of a leak on the valve. It's okay. I don't care because it's a leak this way. The easiest way to get rid of it is just to get rid of the liquid. Because that's going to cause my pressure to drop. So what we have to do for all of this testing is pretty much close and seal that but that's telling me that my suction service valve is going to leak how about the other one that was my fault I probably overheated it being an a-hole. <laughs> no, just this one. But my joint isn't bubbling at all. It's perfect. That's all I care about. I can seal that. Yeah, my joint looks perfect. No 
nothing in there. Let's close this up. If I don't close this up, it's going to be a leak. Officially hacked it. So my name suits me here. I actually was a hacker. I killed the valve, even though it was probably leaking before I got here. So we don't know. Whatever, we tighten these. No more leak. Soak these up. They look good. Okay, I gotta find out where to get power. Okay. So, a half hour has gone by. And we still have the same pressure we had before. Over 305 here, that's a little higher. I don't think they're perfectly calibrated. So, let's get ready for our vacuum. Clean out my electrical compartment. I like to usually use a brush. But compressed air, this is good. I'm hoping I found power. Let's play something that's not that great. Electricity is nowhere near where I am. Was after a while looking, but at first, no. Perfect, 120. My brazen rod, what's left of it. Go into my brazen rod holder. Okay. Now. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Why oh, it's not working. I should just jump the fuse, right? Nah. Seems like a great idea. I love I blow the transformer up. I'll just use a little breaker. It's a resettable three amp breaker. So this way, if we have a short, move that out of the way. We'll just trip this. We won't blow up a bunch of fuses. Let's not be that guy. You get there on a service call or maintenance and you have 10 of these. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little sick on my vacation. We have 10 of these sitting on top of your air handler. Really? Okay. Perfect. So for now, this works. That screws. Might be another fuse, which I'm not worried about. Okay, turn that off. We'll come back to this. We'll leave this here, but this has to go back out. What is my phone? I'll bring it out. We can bring it back in in case we need stuff outside, which. No, I'm not going to leave it inside. I already know outside I'm not going to need any of that.
Unfortunately, I don't know why I even bothered my micron gauge. I know I need to replace it. It held pressure test of 305 PSI. Won't pull any microns on my gauge, but that was my fault. I accidentally pressurized it with nitrogen. What was I thinking? <laughs> and that's why it doesn't pull down or do anything at this point. So, let's get in here. Open up my valves. It doesn't pull a vacuum on that. Something's wrong with my pump. I'll have to figure it out right now. Not that important. Everybody always says open suction first. I believe. To me, it doesn't matter. Suction, other side. Get gas on both sides. caps on right away. I used to really like nylock. I'm starting to believe that it's screwing up my gaskets on my hoses. So I'm starting to believe. unit going disconnect from this garbage pump at the point of throwing it away get a little bit of our 22 over here because we will be needing that hopefully I have enough R22 to recharge this unit. I knew my can was so empty. I would have picked up some NU-22. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve eight. I should have enough.
Okay, here we go. Looks like I'm going almost into a full pump down. Now I just need my refrigerant to start returning. So I didn't lose any refrigerant, I don't believe. I pumped it all down. I had higher pressures before. Hmm. Starting to get close. We're not quite there, beer can cold yet. It's starting to get colder. Starting to get a little colder. Not quite, not quite ready. Still not there yet, but we're getting a little colder. I should have replaced that, I know, but um, today I'm actually being a hacker. We're all out there sometimes. It's my first day back from vacation. Usually I'd always replace it, even if I gotta pull all the gas out of the condenser. Sweaty balls. Let's let this run for a couple minutes. We'll be back. Let's go check inside. Let's see at this moment where our temperature's at. Our temperature split. my favorite thermometer there's so many different ones the only thing i wish this did was have a little bit of an led display <coughs> but i love <coughs> oh my coughing away the two little magnetic strips just stick it right on the ductwork usually i've been using this for probably like five years if not longer now not this one they don't last actually they would last i just lose them all the time <sighs> okay so my return this is big open space, but a nice clean filter. So, for a turn time, we're just gonna go like this. <coughs> hey man, you got any R22? 74.
We're going to say 73, 74. Okay, so we're 59. A pretty good charge already. 58. 15 degrees right now, and still dropping. Seven. So sixty-three about. Oh, we got a nice cold suction. We're getting there. Here's probably the last injection the system needs. Don't do what I do. Superheat subcool. That's all you should do. Superheat subcool. Never any other ways of doing it. We're about 65 right now. Suction. We're starting to get beer can cold. Remember, superheat suction. Superheat subcool. That's all you guys should ever do, right? Next failure will not have anything to do with refrigeration on this unit. If I had my flu clamp on, I could clamp that on right now real fast. I think we're good. Sweaty suction pipe. Oh yeah. That feels nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll close everything up when I'm done. The AC should be cooling off this whole space at this point. I fixed the leak. I'm just about done. There we go. That feels nice and cold. Okay. Curious. That's what my superheat is. Doesn't really matter what side I clip it to. Let's see where that drops though. Hello? Hey Bill, I have a call. You have a call for me? Yeah. Alright, uh, you want to text it over to me? Okay, no problem, thank you. Alright, thank you. Okay, so I got tied up on the phone, making several phone calls. Right now we have a 48 degree suction pipe. According to my gauge, we are 30, about 34, 
so that's giving me 14 degrees of sub superheat. I'm perfectly fine with the way this system is operating. My sub cool, according to the door, 20 degrees, which is huge. Very big sub cool. I have 205 head pressure. I got a lot of water coming out. The condensate pump. This is a piston system, there's no TXB in it. So the superheat I'm more is more important to me to 14 degrees than the seven degrees of subcool. I'm happy with this unit. Thanks for watching, till next time.